Welcome to the Muskegon Channel. It's Andy O'Reilly along with Ellen Behrens. We are down here at the beautiful Hackley Park. We are in here because there's a little party coming up that you've got something to do with. Just a little party. The Taste, Taste of, of Muskegon. Muskegon. Big time fun. Oh, we didn't even plan that. Oh, man. People are going to start talking now. <laughs> Andy and Ellen spent too much time together. <laughs> Taste of Muskegon is going to be here at Hackley Park June 16th and 17th. It is a great community festival. And it really is. It really is a mm -hmm. lot of fun. And it yep. keeps growing and growing and growing. So we thought we'd want to get the scoop a little early this, this year to let Ellen tell you all what's going to be there. And you can make a plan to get down here and join us. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. What a beautiful day. No, I know. Right? Any idea what these are? Uh, trees. Why are there big rocks in the trees? Oh, that's an art exhibit. Oh. And uh, last year we had the um, avian avatars, the, the birds that were all over oh, okay. the all right. So this is by the same artist brought okay. in by the Muskegon Museum of Art. And um, at the base of the trees, there's little placards just letting you know why there's trees in the... Now we know. The why there's rocks, rocks in the trees. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> trees in the rocks or whatever. Um, I, I started off today with a Facebook post. I'm like, great, now we got rocks in our trees. They've been there for an hour or a year. Where have, have you been? Have they really? Yeah. Well, not here, apparently. Where have you been? I thought you were the man about town. Yeah, Where have I, you been? I am. A, there's rocks in the trees. Unless I'm looking at these cameras. <laughs> I don't pay much. I can't believe I actually knew something Andy O'Reilly did. How about know. that, right? <laughs> Talk about taste. How many years now? Uh, this is our 11th year. Is it this really? Year. Yes. This is my fourth year of moving it to Hackley Park. Yep. But this is our 11th year of Taste of Muskegon. If you didn't uh, notice that it's all been rebranded for its Huge. next decade. Yep. And, um, you know, our new website at tasteofmuskegon.org. Yep. You know, it's, it's a. It's really an awesome event and yeah. a great product that we have here in Muskegon. I was going through the website yesterday and we were, you know, putting some stuff in and talking about yeah. some of this. How many food vendors? We'll have 24 food vendors. Wow. Yeah, and they're all local. Yep. Um, no chains in, in Taste of Muskegon. So they're all local brick and mortar or local food trucks. So if you see them at the Taste of Muskegon, look them up on their Facebook page or their Twitter account and find out where they are if they're a food truck. In doing a little research before this thing too, there are over a hundred restaurants in Muskegon. There are. I had no idea there were we that have many. good food here. Great food. And you know, a lot of those restaurants. And it shows. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of those restaurants aren't just, um, you know, heating things up from like a Cisco or right. something like that. These are true, locally owned, locally cooked, homemade, yep. true restaurants. And you know, as much as I've traveled all over the place, this taste of Muskegon is is truly what it is because yeah. we're lucky to have the great quality of food that we have around here we really do no wonder we have to have the one in 21 push you know because <laughs> we've got really good food here yes. whatever it takes you know <laughs> gets underway on the 16th june 16th june 17th we get underway june 16th with uh parties in the park at taste of muskegon Fun. which is a great huge party here in the park you know parties in the park is an institution Big 30 time. plus years yeah. And um, so we were lucky to be able to partner with them and expand Taste of Muskegon here in the park. Very cool. Mm -hmm. So that's the first endeavor. And then there's music, there's entertainment. So let's, let's get into the kids stuff first. Okay. What so, do kids get to do? Oh gosh, families and kids get to do so much stuff at Taste of Muskegon. Our kids zone construction area is brought to you by the Salvation Army here in Muskegon. Okay. They've also partnered with Habitat for Humanity and can't rein us in 4-H uh, club. So they'll have bounce houses and face painting and make it take it um, construction things from Habitat. Uh, Saturday night we'll have a farm in here from really? about 4.30 to 7.30 with the 4-H group can't rein us in. And there's just awesome things to do both Friday yeah. and Saturday. And then, you know, both Friday and Saturday we spotlight um, on the street here right behind us. We'll have million dollar power boats on Friday night with the West Michigan Offshore Power Boat Weekend. Fun. That's their street party out here. So all the way around the park, um, there'll be million dollar boats that we'll get to see and a couple of them that we'll get to go into. And nice. then about 9.30, we do the parade of boats. Um, so all of the semi trucks that take in the boats uh, start up and they put on all their lights and they go out down our turnabout here on 3rd Street and on their way to Mark Dock. So, you know, it's, it's an awesome sight good to thing see. There's, the good thing there's semi-drivers. Can yeah. you imagine cutting that corner too close? <laughs> well, there went the spire. The yeah. boat hit it. <laughs> yeah, these are amazing boats. They're huge, so, yeah. You know, that's, that in itself is a great event that weekend. So, yep. come to Taste and have something to eat and then go out in the water and see some of those power boats. But Fun. they'll be here Friday night also. 
Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Saturday gets underway early. Saturday we get underway early because one of our partners is also Ride United. Yeah, big and one. And so um, Ride United comes out and they have a 25, 50, and 100 mile ride. It's not a race, it's a ride uh, for families and other people to do. Wow. And they start about 7 o'clock in the morning. No so we're going to start um, with kind of a donuts and coffee with the Shoreline Lions about right. 7 o'clock that morning. Very cool. And that will go until about 10. Okay. And then Taste Itself opens at 11 o'clock. And nice. our car show will open at 11 o'clock with Supreme Whips Car Club here in town. And Supreme Whips meaning, are they like classic cars? Or are they like... Classic and modified. Okay. Also motorcycles. Cool. Um, so they'll be a great, uh, again, all the way around the park and a great offering for families to see. And their let out is about four o'clock in the afternoon. So all the cars will start up. They all have to come in together and they all have to leave together. So about four o'clock in the afternoon, you'll hear all those great engines rev up and you know make their way down Third Street. Music, what are we doing uh, music wise? Music There's is a great. Lot. Yeah, you yeah. know, Friday night we've got two bands. We've got the group therapy band yep. and a, a local Hi, band Danny. called <laughs> Chunk of Funk. Never heard of them. You know, I love good funk music. And who doesn't? And so that's what we've decided to do that Friday night because it's such a great party sure. with parties in the park at Taste of Muskegon. So we're going to fill the park with a good funk. Get down. Why not? Right, Saturday? Yeah, Saturday uh, we start about 1 o'clock with Plain Jane Glory. Okay. And then we do our awards. And then we have uh, Palomino Blonde and... Oh. <laughs> we've got to check the... Check the notes. Oh yeah, just uh, Plain Jane Glory and Palomino Blonde. Fun. So it'll be good. And Palomino Blonde's a, a band out of Grand Rapids. Great bar band, tons of interaction. Wendy Peterson is their lead singer. I actually went to high school with her. So, good stuff. I bring in high school buddies for other stuff in town too. <laughs> yeah, it's good times, absolutely. Yeah. Talk about Burning Foot. They're gonna have a presence here this year. They are. Okay. You know, Burning Foot has kind of taken over our beach in August, and um, the Lakeshore Brewers Guild is doing such a great job here along the lakeshore, bringing in awesome beverages and, and beers here. And the following week, they also have their ticket release party. So they're usually here at Taste just talking about their event. So sure. it made sense to have a bigger presence. So we will have a pint size, did you get that one? A pint size Burning Foot, but a bunch. <laughs> here at Taste of Muskegon, um, we also do a local craft beer competition, cool. and so that will be in the mini Burning Foot area, but um, come and enjoy our rotating taps, there'll be 14 different taps, okay. completely rotating, and um, you know, some of our local breweries and beyond have sent in some amazing special beers Fun. for Taste of Muskegon. Great. Cost? It's free to walk in the what? door. What? Free? No way. <laughs> Listen to the music, see the boat, see the cars. Everything's free, but you're going to want to taste that food and you're yeah. going to want to bounce on the bounce houses. And you can buy a wristband for the bounce houses for $5 and all of that goes directly to the programs for the Salvation Army and their, their summer kids camp. So, you know, all of our partners, our charity partners, our nonprofit partners, keep all the money, you know, yeah. from the face painting, from the make it, take it um, crafts and from the bounce houses. So all of that money stays here with our partners. See how we get things done around yeah, town? Yeah, it's collaboration. It, Love it's, that. Yeah. And we, we have a ton of different nonprofit partners that weekend, and we're just thrilled to put a spotlight on them yep. and help them out a little bit. Awesome stuff. Because that's what a taste of Muskegon is. We it really is. Other. Yeah, we do help each yeah. other, don't we? Yeah, Pretty amazing totally. like that. Totally. All the details are right here on the Muskegon channel. Is there anything we have not covered yet, Miss Barron's? Uh, check out the new website. Yes, we'll link that. Muskegon.org. Yep. Yeah, I mean, there's right also here. great things, you know, we've got awesome sponsors from the area with Positively Muskegon being one of them and we appreciate that. Well, thanks for having us, absolutely. All those details are linked right up here, Positively Muskegon, Muskegon Channel, wherever you're watching, we're good with that. We thank you so much for it. Thank you for your sponsorship of the yeah. pages. We really appreciate that. And you belong here, the 16th and 17th for Taste of Muskegon, Ellen. Always come hungry. Yep, come hungry. <laughs> and you know what, all that stuff you read in the article, you got a job to do. Get to that Taste of Muskegon website right now and find out all those food items and who makes them. Ellen, you're awesome. Thank you. Thank you.